Hello and welcome to JP Lab Systems. I'm Yusnas and today I'll show you how I modified my Audio Technica LP60X turntable. This is the AT LP60X a standard automatic turntable manufactured by Audio-Technica. It retails for around $150. It works great, however, it notably lacks a headphone jack. It has a line-out on the back, but that's meant to be an output to a secondary amplifier and won't drive most headphones with sufficient volume, not to mention having no volume control. Audio-Technica sells a version of this turntable with a headphone jack, but it's $50 more expensive. So instead of buying the more expensive version of the turntable, or buying extra off-the-shelf hardware, I modified mine to work with headphones. As an adjacent side project, I also created a 3.5mm AUX breakout board while working on this project. In the past, I brought generic breakout boards off Amazon, but that was getting expensive as I used a lot of these parts. Instead, I designed an order of my own, which has given me more flexibility and made things cheaper in the long run. Once they came, I was surprised to see that they had sent me 70 which was twice as many as I had ordered, which I don't mind. As always, the quality which PCB Way provided was good. My board was successful on its first iteration. With that out of the way, let's get started. For this modification, you'll need a buck converter to convert the turntable's 12 volts into usable 5 volts, an amplifier to boost the pre-amplified signal into something we can hear through headphones, and finally a headphone jack to output the audio into a pair of headphones. Additionally, you'll need to 3D print a knob for the potentiometer, and then this thing to hold the headphone jack in place. Let's start by cracking this thing open. Now that the front plate's loose, let's move on to soldering some wires. Remove the foil shielding and screws to hold it in. We'll need to solder five wires, two for power and ground, and then three for audio signals. See the blog for more details. I drilled two holes in the front plate for the headphone jack and potentiometer. Start with a small pilot hole, then move on to the half inch bit. Also drill a wide hole in the frame to allow the wires and body of the potentiometer to stick through. It can be messy as it's on the inside and out of sight. Once all the holes are drilled, you'll need to fashion the potentiometer hole a little bit since the plastic is too thick for the threads to poke through, and there's a little knob on the end of the potentiometer body which prevents it from sitting flush. I used an X-Acto knife for this. The end result looks like this. 
Also, at this point, assemble the headphone jack and its 3D printer holder with solder and super glue. It gets super glued in. Before you screw the potentiometer in, you'll want to solder some wires to it. This part's tricky. I used some insulated wire here, but I later went back and redid it with some urethane coated copper wire, which made it a lot easier to work with. Thread the wires through the drilled hole in the body, and then solder them back into the potentiometer footprint. There's no good way to differentiate the wires here, and I just determined them with my multimeter. At this point, you can also connect the audio wires from the preamp to the amplifier, the output wires to the headphone jack, and then the power wires from the buck converter, which is also connected to the 12 volt power from the turntable. Hot glue everything down, and the inside should look something like this. Reassemble everything in reverse, and then you're done.